Hi. Very often when I speak to couples, I realize that there is a, there's a truth that the one hears or that the one is very convinced of, which um, the other spouse believes to be a lie or not, a tr not the truth. Um, I've personally experienced that in my past, and I often use that example, where uh, there were times in our first year of marriage where I heard my wife say that I don't make enough money. And for years I had this thought in my mind that she thinks I don't make enough money. Uh, and eventually after I think about 16 years, I asked her, my darling, you're such a sweet person. I can't believe that you told me that I didn't make enough money. And she was extremely shocked, correct? Um, she never said that to me. What happened was that Adela said to me that she would like to talk about the finances, which in my mind was equals to I don't make enough money. But in her mind, it was just something you do because that is just something you do. It's not, uh, it's got nothing to do with the person. It's just something that you do as a couple together. What happened with me is that my wild horse, and if you don't know what the wild horse is, please go check out the video in the link. But my wild horse told me the worst about myself. And the worst about myself was that my spouse doesn't think that I make enough money. Now, that is my story or our story. But a lot of people struggle with that kind of a situation where the one spouse hears something that the other spouse never said. What do you think can one do so that the spouse hears the correct uh, message or tries to understand the, the correct message? I, I, th I, think, I think what you did in our situation was really the perfect response. So before I really spoke about it, um, you couldn't have known. You just realized that I get angry um, and I, I think what you, there were two things that you did and I would recommend that to others as well. So the one thing that Adela did is that she, um, she said to me, my darling, when I speak about finances, you always get angry. Can you tell me what you're hearing me say? And that got me to think about what am I hearing and, and why, and, and that is, to a great extent why we got onto the topic and why I realized, hang on, maybe what I'm hearing is not the truth. Um, and then also, I think the other thing is for the person that is feeling offended very often, that that person goes and says, okay, let me just clarify that with my, with my spouse, that I can just ask, hey, how do you, how did you mean that? Or, um, I heard you say this, is that what you meant to say? Um, and then just clarify what it really is that was being said. So maybe it's good to ask questions instead of making statements? Yes, very, very much mm -hmm. so. Um, and, and really, as we said before, having an interest in understanding where the other person mm -hmm. comes from helps a lot. Yeah. Great. So I hope that you can help yourself and your spouse to hear the truth and not your truth and, and thereby become more stable in your relationship. I hope that you will have fun while doing that.